this video, we're going to look at Socrative. Socrative is a student response system. So you've seen teachers that have uh, clickers that students use to answer questions during class. Well, Socrative is the same kind of thing, only you don't actually need the, cl the clickers. The students use whatever device they have to access Socrative. So if a student has a laptop, if they have a desktop computer, if they have an iPad, or if they have a smartphone, they can access Socrative. Now, currently, Socrative only has an app for the Android phone, but they are working on apps for both BlackBerry and iPhone. So if your student has an Android-based smartphone, they would be able to access Socrative on that through their app. So Socrative is in a private beta release, which means you have to actually get an invite to be able to access Socrative. So if we click Sign Up here, um, what they will ask you for is your email address, and then you'll fill out a short form and click Get Notified. Uh, you will get an email with instructions for, have, for how to access Socrative. Um, I got an email the same day I requested it, so it doesn't take very long for them to reply. I already have an account with Socrative, so I'm going to go ahead and log into that account. And you'll need your email address that you use to sign up and your password, and then we'll go ahead and log in. All right, this is your Socrative, data, or your Socrative dashboard. At the top, you'll always get some um, tips that you, can, that you can learn more about. Um, right now, they have a new feature, a teacher-paced quiz that we'll look at in a minute. Um, the free version of Socrative is limited to 50 users, but thank goodness we don't have classrooms that have 50 students in them. At the top of your dashboard, you will always see your room number. Your room number is what your students need to use to access your virtual classroom. As students access your room, you will be able to see the number of active users in the room also at the top of your dashboard, so you will be able to tell if all of your students have logged in. Scrolling down on your dashboard, you see that you have a number of options to ask questions on the fly. So this would be a question that you would just ask in the middle of class. Um, so if you wanted to ask a multiple choice or true, false, or short answer question, you could do that on the fly. You can also um, run quizzes that are already made that you have made ahead of time. An exit ticket gives, uh, is great for an end of the period activity to kind of check for understanding. And you can also run a quiz as a race, which is kind of fun, and you can divide the class into teams that way. Um, you can edit, delete, and uh, create quizzes here on the Manage Quiz um, tab. And you can also clear the room. So at the end of one period, before the next period starts, rather than you logging out and logging back in, you can simply come in here and clear the room, clears out all of the users in case they didn't log out. So Socrative actually comes with a quiz that's already a, a demo quiz, so we're going to look at that. So we're going to click on Start Quiz so that you can see what a quiz looks like. And then you will have um, a list of all of the quizzes that you have saved, so as you build your quizzes, they will be listed here. Now you have the option of having a student-paced quiz, or which means the students can complete it at their own pace, or if you want to control the pace, you can push down the questions when you're ready, and that's a new feature of Socrative. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at the demo quiz, and we're going to make this a student-paced quiz, so we'll click student-paced quiz. Now, you, this is, again, your dashboard, so you will be able to tell here how many students have completed the quiz, and you have the option of showing live results. So if you were um, showing, if you had your computer hooked up to pro a projector, you could actually show the students the results of the, of the quiz as they, were, as they were coming in. Now, in order to do this, I'm going to have to open up a new browser and log in as a student so that you can kind of see um, what happens. This is going to be kind of hard to demo um, this way, but we'll, we'll try it. So I'm going to go ahead, and this is what the Socrative, the students log in at m.socrative.com, and that's what the students log in as. And all they need to do is put in your room number. And we'll go back here. Our room number is 873128. And then we'll click Join Room. And since we already have a quiz started, we'll see that immediately right here. The first thing they always want is your student's uh, name. And that way, you will know which students have answered the questions. And then we'll go ahead and submit that. And OK, which of the following American presence was not a K-12 or college teacher? Um, we'll go ahead and do the right answer this time. And so we'll click Ronald Reagan. And it tells us if you got the right answer or if you got the wrong answer. So this is what the students see. Let's take a look at the teacher's side. 
And since we've already gone past that question, um, we're not going to be able to see the results here. Again, this is kind of hard to show on, on the same computer. So we'll go next question. Uh, Socrates, this time we'll answer it wrong. Oh, we did get the right answer. He was a painter. Um, you can also do short answer questions. They will not be able to see if the answer is right or wrong there. Again, here is an opinion type question. And then this is a great feature in Socrative. So you're saying, okay, but not all my students have smartphones. Well, look at this option right here. If your students are willing to share their device, they can let another student take the quiz. We'll go ahead and finish the quick quiz. And again, now we're ready to wait for our next question because our teacher has to do that. And we will go ahead and hide the live results. And we should see, um, we'll end this activity and it says end the activity and send the report. We want to go ahead and do that. At the end of activity, you will get an Excel spreadsheet emailed to you. And generally, they come pretty quickly. So um, we'll take a look at that. The quiz will, if it's a quiz, it will automatically score the multiple choice or true false questions so that you won't even have to do any scoring. If you included short answer questions in there, you would have to um, go ahead and score the short answer questions. Here is the, an example of the email that you get after a quiz session is over. And you can see that there is an Excel spreadsheet file. You can open this in Excel or you can open it in Google Docs. And this is what the Excel spreadsheet looks like. You'll have all of your students' names. You'll have the answer to each of the questions that they gave. If the answer was correct, it will be highlighted in green. It will score the multiple choice questions for you and give you a total score. Remember, this quiz did have one fill in the blank, so you would have to actually go in and grade that yourself. But that's what the report looks like. So we'll go ahead and close out of that. And now we're going to look at an exit ticket. And we'll look at that from the student side. And again, it will always ask you to ha ask the student to enter their name. And then this is the exit ticket that is um, by default in Socrative. How well did you get today's material? Pretty well. What did you learn today? And the students can put their answer and then submit. And again, this is the one that's set up by Socrative, so it gives you please solve the problem on the board. So this would be good for math teachers. They could put the answers there. And again, you can finish the exit ticket, or you can let another student take the exit ticket with your device. And so we'll go ahead and finish that. And then back on the teacher side, we will see that um, we have completed, one student has completed the exit ticket. And so we'll end and send that report. And we want to end the activity and send the report, so we'll go ahead and click OK. And again, Socrative will send us an email, uh, Excel spreadsheet with the answers right there. So the end, the end tick, exit ticket is a great way to check for understanding at the end of a lesson. Um, the space race will allow you to u run a quiz as a race. So we can select a quiz that we already have saved. You can decide how many teams that you want to divide it into. And you can also auto assign the team colors, which will divide the teams into different colors. And if we go ahead and click Next, um, we would see that we would have one um, student in here right now. And their uh, color is yellow. Go ahead and enter the name. And then we'll see the questions um, being asked. And this one we should be able to see. Um, again, it'll tell us if it was right or wrong. On the teacher side, we will see, you know, as the teams get the questions right, we will see the, um, uh, the rocket, the spaceship move. So there you can see that that team got it right. So it's kind of a, would be kind of a fun thing to do for a, a team race. And again, you could, you know, have each team share the devices. You know, you'd have one device per team for this particular thing. And then again, as always, you end the activity and send the report and click OK. And then Socrative will send you an email um, with an Excel spreadsheet file attached to it. So that is Socrative. It's a very simple, easy to use interface. Um, those are the basic things that you can do in Socrative. So um, make sure you check out the Socrative Garden. That's where they put all of their great teaching tips and ideas.